Today we are going to start a new lesson in economics. The topic development. So development is our topic we are going to discuss in the chapter. Here in this chapter we are going to find out the solution for some other questions. What are the questions? Here are the questions. What are the essential things that we require in our life? And what should be a country be like? And can life better to all? How should we people live together? And can there be an equality? That means a more equality among us? So, so these are the questions. And we are going to find the solution for these questions in this chapter. So overall the, the lessons what we are going to discuss development. The term development is nothing but it includes that the standard of per capita income they have to increase in per capita income and reduction of poverty increase in literary, literacy rate and increase in health development. So these are the words which describe the term development. Here I start with an example. In a class, there are 10 students studying. Among them, a, a boy got 99 marks in all subjects. The another boy got 35 marks in a sub per subject. In the next exam, the same boy got 99 in all the all the subjects, but the another boy who uh, the person who got uh, 35 in the previous exam, he got 40 mark, which is called as the development. Do you know that? The boy who got 99 is not a development because he is standard in his studies. But the another boy who got 35 from 35 to 40, so that is a development. So we should know staying in the same place is not a development. So moving towards, go forward, grow in some field, we have to show the progress in our field that is called as a development. Here we are going to de discuss about the economic development of a country, how we are developed or not. So first we start with the topic, what development promises different people, different world. Yes, in the world we are living in a varieties of peoples. So based on the people, they, they are different people and they, their goals are also different. There is a no similarity between us, among us. So here is a development for what development promises. First, it promises total income and standard of living of a citizens. So this is called as the development promises. As we said, different people, so different goals. Likewise, goals are varied from one person to another person. For example, how can we know this one? A vary, the goals are the varies. For example, a rich girl, we can take a rich girl. So in a rich, a rich girl, in her life, she has more freedom as her brother has in her urban family. And she can go for or study in abroad but we can consider about that poor people the poor girl is a poor girl able to get the same freedom which the rich girl got in her family no a rich girl can go abroad what about the poor girl can she go no she cannot so that is the difference so in this lesson we are going to see these kinds of inequalities in economic so we start the income and goals. So income is the important part in the development. But income is not only important. It's important it's a, it's a part of development. It's not it's not occupying the whole things. It's a part. Income is a part of a development. The people prefer income. Why? Why they prefer the income? We can see. What is the desire of a people? So here is the free work you can see. The people's desire is regular work, better wages and better price for their goods or their crops and other products. So these are things, regular work, 
better wages and better price for the crops. So these are the desire of the people. And they prefer income. Why they prefer income? So I want income because I want to fulfill my daily requirement of my standard of living. I want to fulfill my desires and my family. So I need income. And the company provides material things like money. Money is a materialistic. So life should not go behind the materialistic. Money cannot play a all role in a life. Apart from money, there is a non-material things like freedom, security, and respect. A girl expect one thing from her father. What is that? Security, freedom. A father expect one thing from her, his daughter. That is respect. They are not expecting money. So money is also they are expecting, but it is not occupying the whole life. It is a part of life. But in a whole part, they are expecting freedom, security and respect. So we should go through that. Is it developed in our life? We should consider. And example, we can take that company. In a company, some company provide a high salary. But we should not see uh, job security. There is no Job, uh, job sex, uh, security, there the reduction of sense of security. But in some, uh, some uh, uh, companies, they provide less salary but regular employment. Right? There they can feel the sense of security. So the people desire is these are the things the, the uh, security in a job and regular, that means a regular work wages and better price for the cost. So these are the income and goals of people. And we can take the next topic is that national development. So how can we consider, how can we calculate that national development? If I develop this, I can see my income and my family income and how we are living in the society. And we consider whether I am developed or not. But how can we consider the national development? So that's a way to consider what the calculate that national development we'll see. Here, the national development refers that to improve standard living of a citizen of its citizens. So it, it, it is not based on the one citizen. It considers that the whole people, those who are living in the nation, so that it considers the whole people and how they are living in the society standard of living and the, what is the standard of living in which country we can say it's a standard of living here the people earning per capita income gross domestic product that means calculating on a per year how much they are producing in the country within the country not importing from other country so we are what we are producing per year that is called a GDP gross domestic product and literary, uh, literacy rate that is education level of a country people and availability of health how much we care about the health of our country so based on this we can measure that improvement level of our nation so this is called as a national development so here is how to compare how to compare different countries for state so about how can they compare here is a solution we can compare based on per capita income. What do we mean by per capita income? So per capita income is that income of a, a single person. Income of a per citizen. So it's a per capita. How can we calculate per capita income? So that's the formula. Per capita income. We should total the income of a country. Total income of a country divided by total population of a country. Once again, I repeat, to calculate per capita income. Per capita income is equal to total income of a country divided by total population of a country. So when we divide like this means we can get the per capita income of a country. Here, to compare the country or state, we cannot measure the income of a country because some people, some countries has 
how can we say some people some country has a less population and good uh, income more income some people have a less uh, less population so they get a less power less income how can we calculate whether the country is developed or not if i have 100 people in my hands even they all want to be mixed 100 people is equal to 100 rupees if another people has a 10 people mixed per head of 100 rupees 10 people is equal to 10 rupees so they have 10 people so they earn 10 rupees i have 100 rupees i earn 100 rupees so when we see the cost of the two people one is the 100 another is the 10 which is developed one we may consider the money is the 100 rupees is developed one. no here 100 rupees is equal to 100 people here is a 10, 10 rupees and 10 people so less population less income less more people more income so here we cannot calculate the development country based on the income so we should base the, we should calculate based on the per capita income so even the less population how much the per capita income of a, per, of a country and even more population how much per capita income of a country so based on this per the single citizen income we should say whether country is rich or poor here also say the higher capita income is considered as a rich country the low capita income is considered as a poor country so do, uh, the gold bank is a uh, in that world development report during 2006 and 2013 we can take in 2006 as they say in our uh, value 4 lakhs 53 thousands per annum and above they consider as a rich country so this is a per capita income per capita income with 4 lakhs 53 thousands per annum annum or above they call as a rich country the low, lower, lowest price is 37,000 per annum is called as a poor country. So during 2013, in USD, 12,736 per annum, annum is considered as a rich country and uh, USD, 1,570 per annum is considered as a poor. But what about our country status? So in the world, uh, throughout the world, they calculated that income of India, it's, uh, India comes under the category of low middle income country. So the cost is USD 1,570. So this is the level of India in the world market. So this is the, is this the development of our country? We should think of it. So we should not go behind one person's income we should consider the whole country how much we are considering we may think development i am thinking if i am participating in the running race i will come and i will run fast and achieve the goal i may consider this is my development i got a first prize so if i am considering this is my development some of the people consider as a destruction for me it is a development for some other it is a destruction so we should focus on our development and, and also the country's development then only we can increase that level of the growth we should show that whole country's growth not only particular courses ok children so this is the topic if you have any doubts I will send a notes clarify your doubts with my notes even if you have more doubts you will note it on your note and keep it safe during video conference call at the time you can ask me the doubts. Thank you.